Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to set up a test environment for preparing our Red Hat Linux exam. For a test environment, we are going to use KVM and Virtual Manager. So, in our setup, we need storage pool and network pool to set up a virtual machine. If you are going to install by default configuration in the virtual manager, it will be in the, if you are going to build a virtual machine, it will be saved under var lib libvd directory. So what will happen is once you create number of n number of two or three number of virtual machine, if your var partition is small in size, it will be filled very quickly. So instead of that, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to set up a, a separate partition for that. I have a 160 GB of uh, hard disk and I am using Linux Mint 18 SARA as, a, as my uh, base operating system. I am not using any Windows operating system. I am using SARA Linux Mint 18. So I am getting everything free. It's open source. So I am getting every packages totally free of cost. In this setup, I am going to create a storage pool and network pool. Then I will create, I will show how to create a virtual machine using that storage pool and network pool. Out of 160 GB, I have installed my operating system in 115 GB. Except that uh, 45 GB I have left without partitioning or uh, without format. Then what I did is I using F disk I have created a 45 GB of partition. It's SDA3, okay, SDA3. And uh, in that SDA3 I have created a logical volume. I created that SDA3 to a uh, physical volume. Then I added to the volume group. Then I uh, not added, I created a new volume group. Then I created a logical volume. In that logical volume, I have set up the storage pool only for my virtual machine. So it will be very safe and your, your wire partition will not get filled. And uh, you can uh, install n number of virtual machines in a same storage pool. And you can run n number of virtual machines in the same network pool so here we are going to see how to do that let me explain one by one let me list the disk using f disk minus l slash dev slash sda so we can see i have installed my operating system by defining many mount points in that sda3 is the uh, 45 GB which I have uh, left without format only I have partitioned for my virtual machine storage pool first of all let me create a physical volume pv create slash dev sda3 it will create a physical volume then I want to create a volume group vg create minus s that you do it this one is physical extent size and the volume group name under which device slash dev sda3 so the volume group vm storage pool successfully created the vgs showing the storage pool i want to get the extent sizes to create a logical volume so I am VG display and the name 44 44.5 GB uh, is equal to the 1425 number of physical extents. I am creating a logical volume. LV create minus L means I am creating a logical volume using physical extent plus 1425 extends and the name of the logical volume vm pool under vm storage pool volume group 
already I have created and I have removed so this is showing this confirmation uh, if you are creating new this confirmation will not come just I am going to proceed yes because already I have created and I removed so the logical volume VM pool was created now I want to list LBS it's showing the 45 GB of VM pool logical volume under VM storage pool volume group so let me create a directory to mount this mkdir slash vm pool i am not going to mount it manually once i do the pool i create the storage pool it will be automatically mounted so let me format the partition now mkfs.xfs i am going to use the xfs file system and slash the mapper vm storage pool vm pool so the xfs file system also created now I want to set up the virsh using virsh command I want command I want to set up the storage pool so let me list the available storage pool now virsh pool hyphen list will list the current default the name of the default virsh pool is default so the default pool doesn't have more space it's only defined under slash where lib lib with d uh, so it's my where partition it will fill up soon so i'm going to set up the new pool to set up a new pool which pool hyphen defined as storage pool file system hyphen hyphen slash dev map dev mapper vm storage pool hyphen vm pool using this command i have defined a storage pool first then let me list it's created it's defined now the storage pool was defined and it's in inactive state and it's not a started auto started so then i want to activate it so i'm going to build it virsh pool build storage pool pool storage pool build it's completed so let me list the it's not at activated so I want to activate it now once I list under the VM pool now it will be it will be mounted if you see df minus h command we can see it will be mounted so which let me start I want to start before uh, it's getting mounted which pool start storage pool the pool storage pool was started now so I can list the file system now the status was active and it's not at auto started let me put auto start which pool auto start the pool storage pool mock this auto started now it will be yes in auto start The virch command which pool info will show the storage pool more information the UAD its running state or its running in persistent or auto start capacity how much used everything it will be shown now if I run the command df minus h vm pool we can see that day mapper it was automatically mounted I have never mounted it manually once the pool start starts it will be automatically mounted okay which pool hyphen list minor hyphen hyphen all will show the status of it now let me launch the virtual manager i can configure uh, my settings under edit connection details or by double clicking qmu kvm also i can configure I'll get this dialog box uh, once I click on the storage we can see the storage two storage that defined one is by default one and the storage pool which I have now defined it's 44 GB and VM pool location and it's active and it will be stored once my uh, physical machine boots up my Linux main boots 
it will be automatically mounted the storage bill will be started and virtual network there is only a default i am going to create one now so let me def uh, explain this one uh, under storage pool we can see the name and the size which i have defined and the the deep but the default one is 8 gb by default my var partition is 8 gb every virtual machine which i created will be stored on the var lib lib with the images and it's in active on board so my var is not enough only 7 gb so only i defined 45 gb to store my virtual machines under vm pool and it's active on board so let me create a virtual network now our storage was created from the command line now i am creating my network using GUI VM network just provide a name and forward let me use the network as 2 192.168.2.0 range so my DACP will be started from 128 to 254 IP end with 254 okay forward I am not using the IPv6 let me forward all the traffic to my physical network so my virtual machines network will be forwarded to my physical network so that I can ping outside of my uh, virtual machine even I can ping the Google uh, or I can download some package from internet let me finish by configuring my virtual network between every virtual machines it will be pinged and communicated using this VM network we can see the name now v, uh, virt v1 and active okay it will be auto started once my sora linux mint boots up let me create a new virtual machine and choose the iso i'm going to create this virtual machine using iso let me choose the iso it's saved under my uh, uh, downloads let me choose the flavor which i want to this is not required once i click the for the older versions it will be automatically detected but it's not de detecting so i'm going to choose it manually or that enterprise 7 and forward and defining 2 gb of memory to my virtual machine and uh, let me choose the disk from the storage pool where i have defined i'm going to choose my storage pool and let me create a 15 GB of disk to install this rel7 virtual machine virtual machine and I provide the name rel7.img I can choose any name any format format of images raw or vmdk or vdi or qcow to something so finish I have defined the once my rel was in virtual machine installed this is the hard disk for that virtual machine it will be stored under this image let me choose it and forward and let me let me choose the customized configuration before install i can define more options i can choose some of the manual options we for network selection i want to choose the vm network nat that is the virtual network i have created okay so the VM will forward the traffic from virtual machine to my physical machine. If I want, if you want to choose or change something, here we can change. Let me change the display to VNC. That's very important. And let me mount my ISO. I have choose the ISO there, but uh, once I choose this customize option, it will be uh, automatically removed. So let me connect okay i want to begin the installation now so uh, i want to change the boot order to cd rom first the cd rom want to be the first so i will i can boot from the cd rom let me begin the installation now my virtual machine is created in fraction of seconds it's created and i'm going to install the operating system let me fast forward this i am not going to uh, wait till the virtual machine complete the installation 
So I'm going to fast forward and we can come at the short break. Okay. So I'm not going to take the break here. Yes, I have fast forwarding now. The installation was done successfully. The root and red had the password I am using. This is the partition which I have defined. The installation of virtual machine was successful. Let me ping the Google from the virtual machine. So the traffic will be natted to my physical interface. You can see I can ping the google.com. Okay. My IP was defined from DACP 192.162.143 is my IP it's defined from DACP so once back to my physical machine if I list the VM pool under the VM pool mount point the image rel image will be created it's 15 GB and worn by live with Kimo user and KVM as the group the image was the okay fine this is how we are set up, set up the test environment. Please subscribe. We can see you later.